Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Wok Covent Garden. It's Wok Wednesdays and this week, summer salads, it's all about the glass noodle chicken salad. You want to slice your carrot, your cucumber, And I've got some poached chicken here. Just really been boiled. Some chicken thigh been boiled for about 10 minutes. Just shred that up. My glass noodles have been soaked in hot water from the kettle for about three minutes. It's a mung bean vermicelli. It doesn't take long at all and you don't really need to boil it, especially for a salad. Just soak it nicely until it's got a nice bite. Nice and al dente. So you want to crush your citron peppercorns. The citron peppercorns are not really peppercorn, it's actually a berry that comes off an ash bush. Quite similar to juniper berries in many ways. In fact, if you can't find citron peppercorns, you can swap it out with a mixture of juniper berries and dry chili flakes and you get a very similar tingling feeling, citrusy taste from the tip of your tongue. So Chinese food is all about balance of flavour, texture and colour. There's no cooking to this, it's a salad really, other than poaching your chicken. So it's really interesting to see how much of each sauce or base ingredient we're going to put into the salad dressing. If you get the balance right, then this will taste fantastic. So I've got my citron peppercorns, a teaspoon and a half of this Qingqiang black vinegar. Now, it's only a small amount of vinegar, so I'm going to balance that out with the same amount of sugar. And that sour, sweet sour base, you won't taste the sour when you bite into these noodles, but it will have a balance, a balancing act to the savoury and salty that's about to come next. And this sauce here is essentially like Chinese tahini. It's a sesame paste or sesame sauce, it's 100% sesame pureed up. I'm going to go for about a tablespoon of my sesame paste. And I'm going for saltiness now from my light soy sauce. Two tablespoons of light soy. So now I've got sweet, sour, savoury from the sesame paste, salty from the light soy sauce. And because I've got that chilli, that fresh chilli and the citron peppercorn in there, I'm going to go full punch with some chill chow chilli oil. Two teaspoons of the chilli oil, but it's the good stuff, the jammy stuff at the bottom of the oil that I want. Mix that in well. Get that sesame paste well mixed in. You can see the colour of that now. Look at that. I'm hoping that sugar would just balance out the saltiness. Try that first. Ooh, so Moorish. A little drizzle of sesame oil. Some spring onion. And then some chicken stock, just to thin this dressing out slightly so we can wrap it around the chicken. It really is as simple as this. I've got some nice fresh veg, some glass noodles, and ready to serve up. And a glass vermicelli into the base. Good mix of carrot and cucumber. A 
<sighs> and my chicken goes straight in to the dressing. Give that a good mix through. Look at that. That can go straight over. Don't waste the sauce. See that. That's going to all mix into the noodles once we're ready to tuck in. Toasted sesame seeds. Be generous with that. Some finely sliced spring onion just to add to that height. So the best way to get into this is really give that a good mix through before you tuck in. That reminds me of being in the streets of Sichuan. Great, the crunch and tingling feeling from the Sichuan peppercorn. And the sesame paste, the epitome of savory. Love it. Can't stop eating. So if you love a bit of kick and spice and want to know how to balance those oriental flavours, subscribe to our channel and like our videos.